Yo, guy, what's up? Yeah, on today's video, I'm going to show you a pretty cool trick from the 80s. It's the snare trick, okay? It's gonna make your snare even more spicier, okay? And also, yeah, producer like uh, Matt Lane and Roy Thomas Baker made this trick very popular back in the 80s, yeah, like I said, you know? On bands like uh, The Cars, ACDC, The Flipper, yeah, so if those guys make it the snare even more further, why not, you know, on your mixes? And if and then, and then if you're hearing yourself, bro, but it's gonna sound cool for ex for extreme male bands. Yes, I know. Depends on the band, depends on the project. I already used it so far in two projects, pretty well. Actually, my clients re really really like it. I tried to make it in another extreme dead metal band, and then. For me, I like it, but for my clients, no, that's too much, so I take it off. So it's up to you. Like I always said, it's just matter of taste. Okay, sometimes it works, sometimes not. But if you are more into punk or rock or country, yeah, sure, this trick's gonna work for you anyway. Okay, so let's go to Pro Tools and I'll show you this. All right, so we are here in front of Pro Tools. Uh, I have this session. This is a song I did with Ganner on the first drum series videos I already did okay so we have all the drums here we have the drum group the, 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 I mean the drum parallel bass guitars this is the master we all the plugins I use for this particular song and this is the snare track oh I totally forgot now if you want to listen to the band I did use this trick you have to check this band the name is Plague Fever and then they sound So like I told you, you know, in that particular example, this trick works perfectly. And but <laughs> okay, this is the point. I I don't want to open that session because I using uh, pretty much all my analog gear and I feel kind of kind of lazy today for to do that. But this is the same concept, okay? So this is trick. You can use it with one or two mics, okay? In my particular example I always use two mics one on the top the other on the bottom okay like I said you if you have only one mic works too so here you need to send this to uh, an auxiliar track and let me mute this a second let me okay, solo the drum groups okay 
Now let me bypass all this. Bypass all the plugins and this is the order, okay? So you send the the two mics, the two snare mics to the Enaxfilliar track. And the first one you need to put is a uh, signal generator on 100 hertz. Okay, and sound like this. All right, so now the second one is uh, white noise. Let me bypass this. And white noise, uh, I mean, and, uh, and white noise is white noise, is this. All right, next one is uh, gate, okay? This is a regular expander gate from Pro Tools. You can use any one if you use a Reaper or Logic. It, it doesn't matter because it's the same concept, okay? You need to set up the, the gate like this. So every single time the snare hit, the gate is open. So you will have the white noise and the 100 hertz combined there. And then when the, and then when the snare is now playing, the gate, you know, close. All right, so, well, that's uh, that's pretty much is where the gate work. And you need to get an, an add and a non-linear uh, river, okay? Uh, just in case, 100% wet, okay? And at the end, if you need more volume, more, you know, more level, you can add a trim. I, I here, I totally exaggerate because I want that. I want to listen what it does to the snare, okay? So let's uh, let's put everything. I mean, oh, no, sorry, bypass active. Yeah, there is. This is how it sound, okay? You feel it, right? Without. Adding that little thing, remember on the video of, of the car I show you, is the same thing. Like I give it more mm, harmonics in the, for example, in the under the uh, snare. Now check it out with the with the whole thing, okay? Zero. Sounds fine, but wait. More if I want. Nothing. There it is. Now we the whole band. Cool. But wait, sounds better. So, what do you think? Uh, pretty cool, right? Yeah, works. You can feel the snare adding more harmonics, you know, under the sound like it is under the snare. It's something like that. For example, yeah, on the video I showed you at the beginning of the video, the video from the cars is very noticeable, but like I said, depends of the genre. I mean, to uh, I mean, depends of the genre of the music, depends if it's rock pop or punk or jazz rock or country or metal or kind of glam metal like a, the song I did with Gunner. Depends, depends of every single thing you want to do this, you know, I mean, on every single aspect of the song of, or the project, that's, yeah, there is, that's a better word, <laughs> better phrase, I mean, okay, so, yeah, and I hope you really like it, I hope you really enjoy this, and, and I hope you really understand and learn something for this video, and also don't forget to give me a like, to subscribe, to give, to give me a like, yeah, I already say that, <laughs> you know, to comment too, and to share this to someone to want to learn about this trick, okay, and that's all for today, thank you guys.